we're out on the road. Finally, we got out of the pandemic lockdown and we're up here in Minneapolis, David and I, and we're at the Lind Linden Market. Lindale Market up in Minneapolis. And this is David's favorite farmer's market. And I just want to show you some of the cool sites. These guys over here are cooking up amazing food. And look at some of the wonderful choices that they have. I mean, this is like mouth-watering, go off your diet kind of food. Anyway, um, we are here to look for vegetables and plants for the garden, just all kinds of things. And I love this place. The mushrooms here are to die for. Look at this. They have my takis, they have lion's mane. Oh, look, they got morels. Yeah, and all kinds of cool, wonderful, beautiful array of different kinds of mushrooms. Oh, they got fiddleheads too. These fiddleheads are excellent. And I don't know if you've tried those, but those are ferns before they come up in your yard. That's, that's what a fiddlehead is. So this is cage-free daycare and boarding of the dogs. Oh, they're just so cute and they're beautiful and they love it here. So this is just one of the things at the, <laughs> at the farmer's market up here. And I just love how cool these dogs are. They're all together and all behaving well. That's more than I can say for our dogs some days. But anyway, I thought that was really cool. Something you don't find at every farmer's market. And the dogs are having a great day. So David and I have been finding a lot of plants for the garden. And one of the things I'm gonna get now, uh, this is called water lettuce. And these are like um, all really, really wonderful water plants that you can put in like your little pond and whatnot. So in our house, we have just a little pond, little fountain, and I'm gonna get some water lettuce put in there. And a lot of the wildlife where we live will eat this and hopefully leave our plants alone in the garden. So we're about to get that. I wanna show you this water pitcher plant over here. That is really cool and it's got a really very exotic green flower on it, which I find you know, just really fascinating. Anyway, more to come. Lots of people here, lots of flowers, and a lot of very unusual plants. So now we're at the farmer's market here and they've got fresh roasted sweet corn and they literally cook it with the husk on. This is one of David's favorite things and I'll show this to you. So we're about to get some of this. But you can see how they cook it with a husk on. They wrap it up and put butter on it. And it's delicious. Most of all, it's fresh. And it's only $3 an ear, so that's not too bad. I guess this is breakfast. <laughs> How's your corn, David? Really good. So David's dining out here on his roasted corn on the cob. And we got excellent musician here on the sax and in the background you can see the the sky oh my his, everything flew out his money flew out on the ground his money's on the ground david's helping him retrieve it the wind came out of nowhere anyways you can see the skyline of minneapolis in the background and it's just a great day here. It's gonna be 90, which is not really normal here for this time of the year. But there's a lot of people here. It's a great vibe. And it's so good to see people coming back out after all of the pandemic. And it's really nice to enjoy. Oh, look at all the popcorn and kettle corn. Anyway, I miss humanity. So this is like a great day. Hope you enjoy. Ladies are cooking up some amazing barbecue here. 
And you can see here that he's got all of you want his... Me to, I can open it. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Oh my God, the smell. Look at this. This is incredible. Brisket, <laughs> wings. Brisket and wings right now. And then I've got um, beef brisket burnt ends over there with brown sugar. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been in business for three years. Wow. And, and this is my second year here. Gosh, it's yeah. amazing. My husband couldn't wait. He's he's ordered up food and we're waiting in line. <laughs> By all means. But it is amazing. Thank you very Can't much. Can't wait to try it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, it's sweet barbecue sauce. Just FYI. And like I said, this place is doing great business. They have great food. And I can't wait to take my first bite. You're in line. Gonna get some barbecue now. This place has great barbecue and very popular. You can see the food back there. They just cooked all of the vegetables here on the grill. Very fresh, all cut up. And this is where they smoke the ribs and the barbecue that they have going here. They make their own barbecue sauce. Obviously, it's very popular. And people stand in line waiting and waiting to get their barbecue. Sauce looks delicious. And they have lots of options. So, mainly, I think sandwiches, ribs, and amazing barbecue sauce. You'll see that there's all kinds of different food here. They have lots of clothing, they have jewelry, socks. This place goes on for like three, four blocks. They even have a pet market in that building that's in front of us. Pet market over there. And this is a papaya, Miss Papaya here. So if you like anything with shrimp, noodles, kind of, you know, I guess Thai vibe or oriental vibe this is the place to come they have excellent food and then they have pottery over here i love pottery i love these cups you know for coffee in the morning these cups are to die for here so i thought i would film this look at these cups little vases are very cool and we have little tea cups and coffee cups Anyway, lots of fun stuff here. So, if you're out and about this weekend, trying to get back into the swing of things after COVID, be careful, keep your mask handy, and by all means, go out and get some civilization and some socialization back in your life. I miss people, and I can't wait to see more fans. So now we're up here in Minneapolis, and I'm going to one of my most interesting site that I want to see this weekend. It's called Bauer Brothers and I learned about this on HGTV, one of my favorite channels as you must know because I do home improvement. Mostly I'm doing restoration on historic properties like houses like my two houses for example. But in the background the second building over there is the Bauer Brothers. They do architectural salvage. They have sinks, they have doors, they have stained glass windows. Anyway, David came up during the pandemic and got to see it, but I have not. And so David's brought me here today so I can go look at some stained glass and some other things. Sorry for the lawnmower, you know. We just started because I'm filming. <laughs> anyway, uh, more to come. I'll take you inside and we'll see what goodies they might have to help me do my restoration project. So we're inside of Bauer Brothers. This place is so great. I'm so glad David brought me here today. And we happen to be looking at some antique ceiling tins. And this stuff over here is just, look at David standing by there. But they've got all kinds of really cool ceiling tins. And all kinds of shapes, all kinds of sizes and they got cornices that go around the outside you can see the big radiators but at some point we put in a um 
wonderful wine cellar downstairs and I want to put a tin ceiling up. But look at these lighting poles. I mean, can you just see an epic light up on top of that and having that in your yard? I love these lighting posts. But there's all kinds of antique fixtures here. So, for example, antique faucets. As you can see, somebody brought a shopping cart in. <laughs> but they have vanities. They have tubs. They have all kinds of toilets and sinks and light fixtures. And I'll take you over here. I love stained glass. And so we've been doing a lot of stained glass repair at our house. And so I'm really attuned to stained glass, lighting fixtures. Look at this great big lighting fixture up here. I would say that thing's about six, seven foot tall. And then David pointed out this antique <laughs> 1927 washing machine. This is amazing. And it's from a nursing home in Minnesota. They have a price on it of $2,500 or make an offer, but there's like a big crank handle on the side. I would hate to have to be the person that had to run that thing. Anyway, I want to show you some of the stained glass. So there's all kinds of stained glass throughout the building. This one has all of the months on it. So my birthday's October. They have a red rose on October. Then they have November with a snowflake, December with a sunrise. August has we July. Look at there. We got red, white, and blue. But it's just beautiful stained glass. I love February. Look at February with the little beehive. And June has a big sun on it. Junus. So they're all in Latin. Really pretty cool. October is just plain old October. But anyways, you can see how cool this place is. And there's more of the ceiling tin stuff that I'm looking for here. All this ceiling tin tile is ornate and beautiful. And I think it is right up my alley. So I hope that if you're in the market, that you'll take a look at Bauer Brothers. If you're looking for architectural salvage, you're trying to do a project at home, a DIY. So anyway, I love this place. I highly recommend it. And I've already purchased a couple of things today. So I love Hollywood. I love filmmaking. We watch a lot of TCM and so forth. But look at this. If, especially if you want to make home movies. Look at this. This is an epic. It's a 35 millimeter uh, projector. $1,500 each. So, I mean, can you believe <laughs> how humongous? It's a peerless Magnark high-intensity lamp. Anyway, David pointed this out to me, and I just think it's so cool. What a piece of history. That would be so cool. There's a pair of them, it, and it would just be so cool. And there's another little piece of history down here with filmmaking. And here's the one that matches it. It's just really amazing how much we have advanced in technology to where now we've got projectors that can just fit in the palm of our hand and have high quality. Anyways, there's all kinds of treasures here at uh, Bauer Brothers. If you're in the mood, you can see the radiators behind me there. And look at these eagle sconces here. A little bit of something for everybody. They have mid-century, they have Victorian, they have Mission, Stickley, all kinds of things.